campaign, the role of anti-Semitism in it, the role of the Jewish labor movement, and has deliberately avoided having alternative critical voices on its programs. It is very specifically outside the BBC today because of the BBC's failure as a public service broadcaster to seek after the truth, to encourage debate, and not to accept the handouts that it is given as though they were breaking news. The Jewish labor movement called a press conference a few days ago at which it said nothing that it had not said months and years before. Suddenly, during an election campaign, it is breaking news, and they are given an open platform to repeat the assertions, the distortions, the myths, truths that have been debunked again and again and again. And no one, no one is called to take them on, to challenge them. We're told about how brave Andrew Neil is as an interlocutor and how Boris can't dare face up to him. But when it comes to these puny people, like my cats of the Jewish labor movement, I have yet to hear a BBC interrogate him. Ask him any questions that probe at all, let alone difficult questions, questions that he might be hard put to answer. They spoon feed the critics. They lap it up. That is not public service. That is not public service broadcasting. That is propaganda. We love the BBC for what it ought to be, and we resent the fact that it is ours, but it is not representing us. You should be ashamed of yourself on the Today programme at the BBC. When was the last time you had someone from Jewish Voice for Labour on your programme? I don't need to tell you because you know the answer to that. And normally it is impossible for our critical voices to be heard, for our complaints about the BBC to be listened to rather than simply being fobbed off, our complaints about the Panorama programme. Oh, we don't think that's the case. Of course we were objective. Our complaints about the Today programme, our complaints about the BBC's role in this election campaign. Well, we're not going to go away. You can read all the complaints we've made on the Jewish Voice for Labour website. You can read our submission about the EHRC inquiry and why we believe it is faulted, none of which you reported. You can read why we think the, the Panorama programme was a shambles and a dishonest compilation, mainly of people who, although apparently anonymous, ordinary members of the Labour Party, were largely officers of the Jewish labor movement. Not a single one of them described as such, as though these were voices across the party, chosen at random, who just happened to share exactly the same narrative. Well, I'll tell you why they share it. They live in the same room, and they have the same discussion, and they learn the lines, and they throw them back at you. And instead of questioning them, you lap it up. That is not public service broadcasting. That is capitulation. And we hope and trust that when the dust has settled on this election, with a Labour victory, that the BBC will be held to account and will want to hold itself to account because it will want to return to the values which ought to underpin it. We will defend you and your licence fee, but you have got to defend us the public in return for our support. Thank you very much.